I turned on the wrong mic. I hope y'all are enjoying the solo commentary. I only get on like once a year. <laughs> but since we had no one else tonight, I'm trying to hold it down. Here we go. We are going to start with Fox Diddy Kong. I believe when they played in Winter Sider bracket, Seagull started with Paltana and kind of got washed. So the Diddy is now out. On the banana, gonna get punished for it. Eat the full rapid jab. TD with banana in hand coming down. Banana to Nair. Oh my god. Almost got a grab and some more off of that, actually. Jam it. Z oh, and the shine! Z I was gonna say, ZD's pressure is just enormous right now. I mean, that just right out the gate. Uh, immediately had Z. Seagull in the corner, and there really wasn't much uh, Seagull could do, especially against Fox's pressure. Those, you know, those double jump fake outs coming in with the either the dare or the nair, and it's it's just man, you just you just get hit, you start taking damage, just like that. Oh my God, the up smash gonna do it. ZD only taking 18 percent now. Mind you, this is only a minute into the game. Seagull's got to find some kind of answer, some way to get in, something to do to slow down ZD's momentum right now, because right now he is absolutely on fire. All right, we got the, okay, two good edge guards going. Almost got the down air. That definitely would have got him back in the game real quick. <laughs> I'm going for the double shine. ZD real cheeky right there. He wanted it. He wanted this game to be over. All right, we out, we out, we out. Fortunately, Fox is super fast, so we're getting grabbed for that. We are almost back on stage, but not quite. Finally, finding his feet on the ground. See y'all getting a grab and see y'all throw up air. I got the banana. Oh my goodness, the down air. Into the down to us smash for the stock. Seagull at the magic percent. Finally, getting that first stock off. Has a heck of a mountain to climb. Not even a hill, like a whole mountain. This is ED we're talking about. All right, throw. A extremely aggressive return to stage right there. Catching ZD, I mean, he's catching ZD unawares right there. I don't think he was expecting, especially at these percents, for uh, Seagull to just jump up there back on stage. And the back air sniffing out that jump, gonna catch it. Seagull with the two stock. Returning to base. That was, uh, that's rough. That's rough, man. I don't even, like, I, there's no real good way to put that. But, I mean, what Seagull's got to do here is just find a way to slow down Z's momentum. Uh, maybe a bigger stage. I mean, PS2 is already a pretty big stage, right? Uh, but, <laughs> like, what do you do against Fox just running at you and hitting every button on Earth? You pick Palutena, that's what you do. So, game two. Fresh start, Palutena back to the same stage, though, PS2. Gonna see if he can uh, change his fortune here. Maybe find something a little better. But ZD already starting off pretty hot. Got a little greedy there. Want another forward air. Not quite catching the option, but still, man. So fast right there. Just continuing the combo. And there, there. Where do you think you're going? Okay, gets caught for trying to jump, but it doesn't matter. Gets himself back to center stage with a good nair right there. The forward air, not gonna follow up with anything. ZD jumping away very smartly. Oh my goodness, the missing, the warp up B. Did not get the ledge, is gonna eat a down smash punish for it. That's kind of unfortunate. And here we go, ZD again, with a pretty big stock lead and not a whole lot of percent. I mean, 67, not really, like, unless you gimp you, Palutena is not gonna kill you too early. Good shine stall right there. Holding up B just to get that extra damage right there. All right, another back throw. How do we get back to the stage? We're going to go low. And eat it back here for jumping. And finally, Seagull catching it. Keep practicing that uh, that jump back down there. Catching uh, Fox just before he gets snap to the ledge. 65%, not too bad if you can get a couple couple good nairs, couple up airs going. Quickly find his way back into the game here. 
Yeah, that's one. That's how it starts. Get the pivot grab right there. Just kind of holding on the center stage as best he can. Knocking his ED off. Oh my gosh, he almost. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> I was so scared for, I was so scared for both of them, but see y'all gonna clean up there with that smash at the ledge. Cause he just gotta find his way back on the stage and gets caught forward airing with the explosive flame. Good stuff, see y'all Joe for evening this up. It, it was looking pretty rough at the start there, but man, he's, he's played it smart. He's you know had plenty of stage control and uh, secured the stocks as early as possible with these uh, offstage uh, gimps, if you will or offstage reads. Trying to box his way out of the, uh, the up tilt combo there. Rapid jab, 72. Seagull's got to find a way to get off the ledge here and get a center stage. Get up, getting caught by the Nair. Yeah, just going to jump warp over to the other side there and get Nair for his troubles. Finally gets out. A little bit of a safe pressure there with the fair poke. Get to the Nair. Again with these pivot grab scoops. Oh my goodness, the background. Okay, the forward air only. Gonna buy himself a little space with the auto reticle. Dash attack. Oh my god, he almost died to that backup. And Seagull going deep with the. <laughs> he almost died! He almost died, oh my god. The back air trading with Firefox and Seagull bouncing off the stage at high speed, but uh, thankfully he didn't accelerate to the blast zone fast enough to die before ZD did. What an ending right there. <laughs> I, I was actually holding my breath when he bounced because I couldn't tell who was going to hit the blast zone first. I think if Seagull had like maybe five to ten more percent, he would have actually accelerated to blast on before ZD. Three, two, one, go! So here we are, all even. Going back to PS2. No need to change stages, I guess. Only gets the one hit of up there. Kind of unfortunate right there. You get the throw, the dash tag follow up. I think a lot of this matchup just comes down to how much mileage um, Seagull gets off of Nair. Like, if he can catch ZD jumping in at him, uh, he gets a fair amount of stage control and he gets to set up the, uh, the ledge trapping, all that good stuff, but he has to land these Nairs first. Challenging Firefox with the back air. Okay, the trades, I mean, a little day. Oh my god, Seagull! A little dangerous there because he is at kill percent. Well, I'd say that the trade's kind of good when you can get him off stage, but man, this is more percentage eating and making it easier for Fox to kill you when these meaty smash attacks. The dash attack there coming down with the challenge with the Nair, though. That's Seagull. Okay, ZD with the parry. That's how you know ZD is starting to wake up when he starts parrying your landing aerials. That's when you got to start changing your options up a little bit because that means ZD is on point. Oh my goodness, just calling out the aggressive return to stage there with the fast smash. See ya. And three stacks to one. This is looking more reminiscent of game one, just with a Paltine instead of Diddy Kong. All right, going to get the get there. But still, he's got to find a way to not get grabbed because that is this big damage as Seagull, I mean, as ZD reads the, uh, the get up awesome on the platform right there. And again, these up tilts doing so much damage into the up smash. Holy shit. So quick. What happened? Where did his stock go? <laughs> he got grabbed at like 17 and then he died like 10 seconds later. <laughs> Sit help. Ooh, we're going to Battlefield and we got the music counter figure. This is like one of the old FD songs, isn't it? From like four. Look at Seagull, he's jamming out. He's like, yeah, I'm listening to my music now. I'm in my zone. <laughs> All right, here we got ZD switching off the wolf. Oh, the explosive flame at the start right there. But here you go, you're getting wolf combo. Fair, fair grab, down throw. Easy 45%. 
I, all right, good stuff for Seagull right there. Explosive flaming, uh, the no tech off ZD. I say no tech, but it's more just a missed tech. <laughs> oh my god, he's dead for that. They're both dead for that? What the? Okay. All right, well, you know, we're even. Didn't need that stock, right? Ooh, the fair up tilt. Man, Wolf, Wolf, when he gets you at low percents, is just like, he just gets to do whatever he wants, really. And there's not really a whole lot you can do about it except eat percent. The up smash coming in 100% right now, man. This is dangerous territory for Seagull. The stock in danger if he doesn't manage to find a, a ledge trap again right here. Keeps ZD off the stage, and he's going to punish the uh, get up attack with the F smash. Good stuff to Seagull right there. Not quite getting the ledge trap back here that he was looking for, and now he is off stage in Esgar's situation. Oh, the up smash coming through scoops. Got the dash attack coming through. CD air dodging back to center stage. Down throw, dash attack. <gasps> he, I thought he was going to down air right there. I thought I was going to see ZD, uh, Seagull's life disappear from my eyes. Again, ZD is up two stocks, so this could be Seagull's tournament life on the line right there. He still needs two more games to reset. He's got to find a way to come back here. And it starts right there with an air. Oh my goodness, the, the grab's clanking. Forward air off stage. Not quite catching the warp, but had the right idea with an air. The timing on the get up in the back air is going to do it. Seagull Joe barely hanging on, getting himself a game five situation here. Curious to see if we'll stay, now the wolf is out, if we'll stay wolf or if we're going fox. Helen? Wolf, okay, wolf. All right, we are going to small battlefield. Ooh, get that gun out of here. Seagull trying to find a, okay, the dash, the dash check, I'm sorry. ZD trying to find like a, a quick combo starter, like a falling fair right there, or a grab. So he could rack up some easy uh, wolf BNBs. Detailed in the dash deck here. Remember, this is game five of set one. So if Seagull wins here, we get a reset. If ZD wins, he is the official winner of the event. He's going to be doing everything he can here to try to prevent Seagull from winning this fifth game and uh, force him to set the dragon a little bit longer. He's going to punish the detail with the fair into gun. I love it. The gun just does so much work for Wolf. <laughs> Seagull spot dodging the, uh, the B throw tip there. We're going to get grabbed anyway. Not going to die. Good DI. Back here, we got stage control. Don't get the trump, though. Oh my goodness, the uh, the pop-up right there. Not quite getting anything off it, though. Up tilt, though. Get kicked. Got to find a way to get the stock. He's going to have throw. He wouldn't really get anything off of D-throw at this percent. The Nair catch the jump. Auto reticle. We catch the wolf flash. And the Nair Blender, we are continuing this edge guard. How does he get off the edge, though? Just like that, still cornered. Okay, ZD smartly avoiding the uh, Horning Shield throughout the Nair up tilt attempt. I definitely would take him stock. D throw there, couldn't get anything off it, though. Go with the B throw. Not gonna take it too. The Nair though, he's still got another chance. All right, it's gonna land there. Get up attack. Now we've got center stage. Just gotta avoid the. Oh, I was gonna say the bear or dash attack, and there it goes. Start the Nair planes there. 
Oh my god! The free! Let me get up with the down smash right there. It's gonna take the early stock for ZD. He's chilling at a cool 23% on his second stock there. Doesn't gotta do much here. Gets the grab. Oh, he wanted to end it all right there. He, if Seagull would have jumped in, he would have down aired. Can't get too greedy, though, man. Like, you got a stock lead. You want to try not to do anything too crazy, because if Seagull gets the kill right now, that can motivate him to get him back in the game. Gets lucky. He pops out of the nair right there. Trying for a few grabs, kind of whiffing each one. Got a quick scramble going on here. As each one trying to kind of wants to hit CD to finish out the game. Find a, a good edge guard here. And Seagull trying to find something to even this up. Back air, not quite going to do it, but catches the landing with the dash attack. Oh my God! And the back air is going to do it again. And ZD is going to take it three two over Seagull Joe. Saying no bracket reset for you tonight. Good show by Seagull, though. I mean, that was a that was a very good comeback, especially after that uh, rather ugly game one. I'd say uh, good way to get back into it. Um, but yeah, uh, that's our our tournament for the night. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all have enjoyed. Uh, the grind will be this Friday as usual. Uh, we don't really have anything else big coming up in region. We've got a couple, probably a couple Saturday events. I think there's a monthly next month. And then, of course, Super Smash Con in August. Uh, Pre-register if you haven't. Smash.gg slash SSE. It's going to be super fun in August. But that is going to be it for me. I am going to get out of here. Oh, I am tired. I am so, so tired. Hope you all enjoyed Pound. Pound was great. Had a blast. But we are all exhausted. And I just want to go get some sleep. So thank you all for watching. Thank you, Brig, for being here. You could have called KML or something to come do this instead, but, you know. <laughs> Appreciate you coming here to hang out. Hope you all enjoyed the commentary. I did my best. You know, I don't do this very often, but I figured what the heck, why not? And, uh, yeah, y'all take it easy. Have a good night.